Hello everyone. In the previous video, we looked at the theory behind the SAP API management. Uh, in this video, we will look at how we can set this all up together. Uh, so these are some of the artifacts that we would be creating in the SAP API management. Uh, we looked at the API provider, which is a concept in API management uh, that uh, defines connection details to the existing service. Uh, in our case, it is going to be the SAP Gateway Demo System. So first off, uh, let's go ahead and create this uh, API provider. Uh, so if I uh, go to my my SAP integration suite and if I go into configure uh, you have the APIs uh, tab right here and you have the create button right here to create the API provider so you click on create to create the API provider and you can give any name you want uh, and then in the connection details uh, you have various options to uh, create the API provider uh, so on-prem you can also create uh, an API provider with the open connectors and so on. Uh, in our case, the SAP Gateway Demo System is on the internet, so we would choose the internet, and you, we would provide the following values. Uh, so the uh, host name, uh, this is the host name for the SAP Gateway Demo System. Port is SSL, since we are using uh, SSL. Uh, and then uh, once we provide those things, uh, we can go into the catalog service settings. And this is where, um, most SAP systems, uh, they have like an OData service uh, that in turn uh, gives the list of OData services that they have. Uh, so if you worked with uh, SAP S4 HANA, uh, you, may have, uh, uh, you may have encountered the transaction IWFND main service uh, where it lists all the OData services in that uh, system. Uh, so this is actually uh, delivered as an OData service itself. Uh, so you can give this uh, service collection URL and Basically, what this does is it is a collection of all the old data services. So, for example, if I go in here and if I run this uh, service collection URL, uh, this is going to give me all the old data services that this uh, gateway system has. And that's what we would want to put in here uh, in order to create the uh, API provider. So you put all these values here, and then the authentication type, you can give a basic, and you can provide your username and password to connect to this SAP uh, uh, gateway demo system. Now, note a uh, thing about this credentials that you are passing here. Uh, this is never uh, going to be used when someone is going to make a call to this API proxy. Uh, this is just to provide the connection so that you can create the API proxy later on. Uh, so this uh, uh, username credentials that you provide here, uh, this is not meant to make the call to the backend API to get the data. This is just to set up your API provider. And this is how you would uh, create the API provider. In, uh, in my case, I've already created the API provider. So if I go in here to my API provider, and uh, I can even test the connection, and this connection should uh, come, up, come back with a 200 OK message. OK, so now that I've uh, done the API provider, uh, let's uh, go to creating the API proxy. Now we know what the API proxy is. Uh, this is what sits in between the application and the backend, uh, the SAP Gateway Demo System uh, APIs, the actual APIs. Uh, so in order to create the API, uh, so what you can do is you can go into design and then you choose the API tab right here. Um, now here you have uh, multiple ways in which you can create the API proxy. Uh, we'll choose the simpler one. We'll click on the create button right here and here you can pro uh, uh, select the API provider that you just created in the previous step. Now note that um, um, this API provider there are uh, many ways you don't even have to have the API provider you could just provide the URL to the OData service uh, to create the uh, API proxy if you want uh, but in our case we've already created the API provider so we will select that uh, we will select the API provider right here and when we click discover uh, this is going to bring back all the OData service that are available in this system. So we saw uh, in the REST collection that there's a whole bunch of uh, OData services that this uh, system provides. Uh, and the one that we are interested in is in G GW Sample Basic. Uh, so this is one of the OData services uh, that the system exposes. Uh, so we will uh, click Discover, and then we will select the GW Sample Basic. And then we can go ahead and uh, create this. Um, um, uh, and the, all the values are, uh, are pre-filled uh, by getting the metadata from this uh, service collection. And we can go ahead and create it. And I've already created uh, this uh, GW sample basic. Uh, I've already created this uh, 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 API proxy right here. OK, so the next step, uh, once we create the API proxy, uh, is to apply the policies. 
uh, now uh, you can apply policies in multiple ways. Uh, you can create your own uh, policies and apply it to them, or you can uh, download some predefined policies uh, from the API Business App and apply them as well. Uh, so let's uh, do both. Uh, so we have the API provider, we've created the API proxy. Uh, the API proxy, we want to add functionality to this API proxy, and for that, uh, I'm going to apply policies to it, and I'm going to apply predefined policies that are already pre-built uh, from the API Business Hub. And I'm also going to apply my own policies as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to api.sap.com. And once I go there, uh, I can go into, uh, re uh, I can go into uh, uh, categories. Uh, so if I go into categories, I can choose APIs right here, and I can choose policy templates. And these are some predefined policies uh, that SAP provides. Uh, so you can choose anything. You, you can choose course, uh, whatever you want. I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to type in performance traceability. Uh, and this is the policy that I want to apply. Uh, so I click on this policy. And you can see that this policy is already created by SAP. And uh, we see that it's going to be applied in this flow right here. So we talked about this in the previous uh, video, uh, what the proxy endpoint is and what the pre-flow is. And you can click on it. And you can see that it's being applied in the proxy endpoint pre-flow in the request phase. Uh, so you can see where it's being applied and what is being applied and so on. You can download this uh, so this will download it as a zip file and once you have it downloaded as a zip file uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to bring it into your uh, uh, you want to bring it into your uh, SAP integration suite uh, so if you go into design APIs uh, you can click on policy templates uh, you can import and you can bring this uh, zip file into your SAP integration suite uh, now that you have the uh, the policy the predefined policy in your SAP integration suite uh, now you want to apply this to your API. So you go into your API proxy right here. Uh, you choose the proxy that you created, the API that you created. Now I use the word API and API proxy uh, like alternatively, uh, but uh, it used to be called API proxy, but now it's called API, uh, but they both mean the same thing. So when I say API proxy or API, uh, they mean the uh, the middle, uh, the API management uh, API, not the endpoint API uh, that I'm talking about. Okay, so now uh, I go into this API proxy that I created. Uh, I can go into policies right here and then I can go into the edit mode and then I can select a policy template, apply, and then uh, since we already have bought this uh, policy into our uh, into our system, you can see it. Uh, you can select it and you can apply it. Uh, I've already applied it, so I don't have to go through applying it again. And you can see that in my pre-flow, there is uh, uh, all these uh, things that have been uh, uh, applied. So you can see all the apply policies right here. Now this is as far as the predefined policies is concerned, uh, but you can also create your own policy as well. Uh, now, if uh, if you want to create your own policies, uh, so what you can do is, uh, first of all, uh, you have to select where to apply the policy. Uh, so let's say uh, we want to apply the policy in the pre-flow, so you select pre-flow, and then these uh, plus buttons are enabled. But let me uh, cancel this for a minute, uh, and then uh, let me go into the policies and the edit uh, right now. Uh, you can see that all these plus buttons are disabled at this moment, so it, there's no way for you to add Add these policies. Now, the only way you can add these policies is first you have to tell where to apply the policies. Uh, so let's say I say proxy endpoint uh, preflow. So I select this preflow, and then you can see that the plus button is enabled. Uh, so then you can click on uh, the basic authentication, and then you want to. Uh, tell in which stream you want to apply it. Uh, so proxy endpoint preflow, and we want to apply the basic authentication to the request because it doesn't really make sense to apply authentication to the response uh, stream. Uh, obviously, you want to uh, authenticate before it reaches the endpoint, so you definitely want to do the request. So applying the policies in the right flow uh, is uh, critical. Uh, but in our case, I've already applied the policy, uh, the basic authentication policy. So if I look at the policy, that I've applied, uh, you can see that here I have uh, uh, some kind of a basic authentication that's uh, being applied to, uh, let me see where it's applied. Uh, you can see it's applied to the, uh, the post flow. 
so you can see in the target endpoint post flow, uh, I have uh, these uh, credentials and the set basic authentication. In the set credentials policies, uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm, su I'm supplying the username and password. So I'm, I'm actually supplying the username and password and then uh, basic authentication, I'm using this username and password to, uh, to connect to this SAP gateway demo system to make calls. Uh, so basically now, um, even though this is a protected resource, by applying this policy, uh, now I can make a call to the uh, SAP Gateway Demo System without providing any user credentials uh, because the policies take care of it. Obviously, this is not what you would do in a productive system, um, um, but uh, this is just to show uh, what you can do. So you have your policies and um, everything right here. Now, the policies itself, uh, one quick thing that I do want to talk about the policies is that um, uh, for every policy, you need some kind of a UI to uh, configure some values. And this is done in the form of an XML. Uh, so every policy that you add right here, uh, you will have an XML document right here uh, where you can configure the values. Uh, there is no real UI per se, uh, but everything is configured uh, using the XML. Uh, so right now we have created the API provider. Uh, we have uh, created uh, the API proxy. Uh, we have applied policies, both predefined policy from the SAP API Business Hub and also a custom uh, policy that we applied as well, like two custom policies, one to set the user name password and then the other one to set the basic credentials uh, once you have done this and this is an optional step is what you can do is you can take uh, multiple uh, one or more um, API proxy that you created and then you can create the product out of it. Uh, so you can click on this, uh, go into design APIs products and then you can say create and then you give a name uh, you can give any name you want, but the idea here is uh, you can take uh, one or more of the API proxies that you created. I've already created this guy, so I can select this, and then I can uh, create the product. Now, when you do a, create a product, uh, what it will do is um, uh, it will publish it into this API Business Enterprise Hub, uh, API Business Hub Enterprise. And this is just like the API Business Hub, but this is uh, just for your enterprise. And uh, what the... Uh, developers in your organization can do is they can do some self-discovery. Uh, so they can go into this uh, API Business Hub Enterprise and they can select uh, which product they want. They can try it out uh, and then if it meets their needs, they can use it in their application as well. So this is some kind of a, a self-discovery mechanism. Uh, so this is how you would set up your uh, API uh, management uh, stuff. Uh, so instead of using the SAP Gateway Demo System directly, uh, what we have done is uh, we have introduced the API management in the middle. Uh, we have applied some pre-built policies from SAP and also some custom policies. Uh, then we bundled it up as a product and deployed it to the SAP Business Hub Enterprise. Okay, uh, so in the next uh, video, we will look at the integration flow. Thank you.